Okay, so this is the Gerda Titan ZX. Um, it's a um, interesting lock. Sorry, it's in the unlocked position right now. I just picked it open. Um, uh, it's interesting that it has 16 pins in it, but they're around this kind of tubular key with this uh, hole in the middle. So there's basically four rows of four pins and it gets tensioned off this, uh, this piece here. Um, basically, that's the operation of the key. And um, this one, uh, I got it from Logan on Discord. He um, he sent it to me as a pass around lock, so I'll be passing it on to someone else. And looking on uh, YouTube, I didn't see any videos of this being picked. I saw one picking attempt, and I saw a number of videos decoding it, but none picking it. So um, hopefully this will help anybody that's trying to pick it. I'm going to turn it around a bit to here so that I can uh, see and try to pick it. Hopefully, let's see how this, uh, this works. Let's see if my hand gets, no, my hand won't get in the way. Okay, so I'm gonna tension it using this um, wiper insert that's got like a little hook. You don't want it to go too far up because otherwise you'll grab onto the outer housing. So you can only go up far enough that you're only grabbing the inside. And then uh, I'll be doing um, counterclockwise rotation. I'm gonna use this um, Dongxi, Honest Dongxi uh, flag to lift up the different pins. And there are on the key a number of, oops, I just lost my pick, a number of max lifts on here. Um, and I find that a lot of those uh, you want to kind of set first. Sorry, there's my head. Um, it, uh, I think those ones might have like a, um, sp like a serration or a spool on them. So those, um, but those seem to, to stay set when you lift them. A lot of times so I'm gonna apply a lot of tension because it's got a lot of pins and every every one of them has to be lifted up at least a little so there's no like zero lift because otherwise there'd be absolutely no metal between that and the inside of it there's a post sticking out that all the pins seem to be resting on so it's it gets kind of tricky to force your pick in between um, the post and, and the pin so I'm gonna start on the bottom left here actually this one I think falls last time I last time I picked it so uh, I'm going to start on the bottom right, why not? So go down there, and maybe, maybe that's why I started on the bottom lift. Those are all springy. Oh, the back one is a max lift, I felt. Um, now let's see if they're still springy. They're still springy. Bottom left, the first one's binding. Got a little click out of that one. Second one is binding. A little click out of him. Third one on the bottom left feels springy, but... I think that was a max lift one, so that one. Now top left, first one is springy, a little bit hard to get under. Second one, one of those max lift ones. Where you kind of feel it click click. I think that all the max lifts have like a, like I said, like a kind of like a spool or serration to them. Uh, all right, top right, let's see what we got. One and two is just springy. Third one, I'm having a hard time getting under. That that kind of tells me that's probably a binder if I have a hard time getting under it. And I got a click out of him. And the fourth one, all right, that's like one of those max lift ones. I got like a little kind of like click click out of. Check those front ones again. No, they're not binding. All right, let's try bottom right again. See if, uh, if they're still springy like before. Uh, first one's springy. Second one feels like it's probably binding because I have a hard time getting under it. All right, got a little click out of him. Third one, having a hard time getting under it. Got a little click out of him. And the last one is already, I think, set as max lift. I'll try coming from the bottom side of it. See if I can feel a little bit better. Yeah, I think that was a max lift one. Bottom left, nothing feels like it dropped. Back left one still feels springy. Top left, guys. All right, first one's springy. Second one was like a max lift. Third one, I think I'm binding on the third one. All right, got a little click out of him. Fourth one, I think I might have lifted him before, but maybe he felt, it, it can be quite hard to feel pins in here. I think maybe he just fell, or 
be set. All right, top right. Uh, first one. Feels springy. Second one. Springy. Nope. All right, let's try bottom left. Back one I remember was springy. Still springy on the back left. Front, bottom right. First one's still springy. Now I'm going to start feeling if these set ones are set. When they're set, they have a little bit of spring to them, like that. Uh, I'm going to go top right, because that fourth one, I wasn't sure if it dropped or not. So I'm going to go back to that fourth one again. Yeah, I think I feel the fourth one. Yeah, he doesn't, I guess he doesn't want to set yet. He doesn't seem to be going up. I think that's a max lift one. Hopefully I was under the fourth one, not the third one there. All right, top right, let's say. Springy, springy. First two are springy. Third one's already set. And the fourth one was set as a max lift. Hmm. Having a hard, and this, this happened when I picked it before. I had to go around for like five minutes trying to find where the next binder was. It was, is that back? Okay, that back right one is now set. So that one was springy before, but now I think I just got them set. Let me, let me try from the other direction to see. And by the other direction, I mean one time I'm going with the flag and then I come from the top. So I'm going to come from the top to see if I can feel anything different with that back one. Uh, no, he's still sitting all the way down and he won't stay up. So he's not the binder. Check from the bottom again. No, I guess he wasn't binding. That's a shame. All right, top left. First one's still springy. Third one is set, I think. And the second and fourth one, fourth one's not set. Fourth one won't. Fourth one's still stringy, so let's have a bind, uh, binder somewhere else. Three set. Fourth max lift set. Bottom right. One is springy. Two is set. Three is set. Four is set as a max lift. Bottom left. One is set, two is set, three is set as a max lift, and four still springy. Top left, one is springy, two is set as a max lift, three is set, and four lifted four all the way up. But I don't think he'll stay up there is the problem. Three. three. Oh, something clicked when I tried to put, like when I was trying to push three, I kind of counter rotated a bit and it felt like, so it sounded like something else fell. One, oh, top right, one, two. One and two are springy, three and four are set, bottom right. And this seems like it's just a lot of going around like this until you finally get that one that is uh, binding. I had a better, oh, I say this every time I film, I had a better angle when I was filming it off camera, obviously. Everything feels good. I mean, either good or springy, like not ready to be set. It's just this bottom left, number four, often feels like it's ready, but then I slide under and I can tell it's it's still springy. So where's my binder? All right, checking top. First one's springy on top left. Second one, max lift, set. Third one, springy. So he's not set anymore if he was set at one point. Number four on the back left, feels like, it's like in between springy and Ready to be set. Let me try it from the bottom. Sometimes finding these pins is pretty hard without counting. So one, two, three, and I don't feel pin four anymore. So maybe he 
finally got set. Bottom right. First one's springy. Second one's springy. Third one's set. Third one might be set too high though. Hmm. That one I don't know. See, I don't know how to deal with oversets yet. Um, if it's if it stops the picking process or if you can keep going once you have an overset or not. Like um, other high pin count locks, sometimes they have these little T pins that you can overset and you can just keep going without knowing and never get an open. So bottom left, pin three. Okay, I click from pin three, which was a max lift. Maybe that'll do something. Pin four is, pin four is probably binding. Yep, and I got the open. So that's what it was. There's a max lift on pin three that I had a hard time, and then pin four got me the open. Uh, I get stuck on the vice here, and so let me come in front of it to show that indeed we're open. And you can tell um, this thing was straight up and down. I can move this one back and forth somehow. Let's see. There, see? It's got the open. Rotates. I don't want to rotate it too far. If I rotate it 90 degrees, it'll click into the next. And if I rotate it back, obviously, it relocks. I'll grab the key again. That's a pretty cool key. It's got that post in the middle that, um, jams up and I use that to, to pick off of like that. Um, but it's all rounded. So when I try to push, if I don't get on a pin, the uh, the pick just kind of slides around like that. It's a little bit annoying. But there it is, the Gerda Titan ZX. I will be, um, actually, I'll, I'll show you the other side real quick. It is broken. I'm gonna see if I can uh, put some nice glue on here before I send it on to the next person. This uh, little knob here doesn't impact the, uh, the pick or anything like that, but you see the, the part is broken. So I'll be sending that on to, I believe, a monitor darkly. We're waiting from a for a package from Germany. So when that comes, I'll send it on to him with that package. Anyways, again, the Gerda Titan ZX. Thanks, bye.